Hey, what is up guys? Rules for Rebels here. Just wanted to make a quick video and share this new site with you guys, designcandy.io. I was listening to Glenn from Hustler Hacks YouTube channel. Uh, he has a podcast called Merch Minds with his co-host uh, Young. And they basically mentioned this. They said designcandy.io is finally up and live. And one kind of cool thing I just happened to, I literally learned about this within the last five minutes. I do believe I heard about it um, on his podcast before. Uh, but this video right here is actually mine. Amazon merch isn't saturated. You're just not good at it. So they actually have my video as one of the featured videos, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. But here's my brief understanding of this is basically they already have pre-made designs. Um, you buy a pre-made design that you can then use or market in your own way. So uh, they say, you know how to market and sell, but you can't design, which is, is kind of the situation that I'm in. I, I've kind of picked up how to design shirts using Canva and phone apps and things like that. But at the end of the day, I'm far from a graphic designer. And I really, you know, I don't really have a strong, I, I like to get a little bit better, but I don't really have like a strong interest in learning everything there is to know about Photoshop. So I'm never going to be a great designer, which means anything more than like a basic image or basic uh, text shirt, I'm going to have to outsource to somebody. So, you know, I kind of fit that checkbox. They stop, stop, stop searching for the next hot one. You can leverage their design teams and stuff to, to get shirts. And it seems like they, from what they say, they focus on evergreen niches. And uh, if you do have an idea that you want custom mocked up, I'm sure they're going to charge you a little bit more for a custom one than just something off the shelf, but that's something that you can do as well. So uh, got, Amazon, uh, got Amazon merch slots to fill, skip the Fiverr gigs and disappointing Upwork results and buy agency quality designs. And that is true. A lot of the stuff you're going to get on uh, Fiverr is going to be people taking like Google images they don't even have the rights to and reselling them to you. Uh, they say they have evergreen niches, trending niches, etc. cetera. Uh, now, a lot of times with sites like this, my fear is that the only one really making money is a company running the site, not necessarily the business owners or the, you know, sellers that they're actually trying to help here. But I do, you know, Glenn from Hustler Hacks is recommending it. I think he's a good guy. And, and at the end of the day, like if you get a good design, it's all about you marketing it. So if you feel that you have great Amazon SEO skills or listing skills and you can get your T-shirts to rise to the top, if you feel you're a great marketer, um, you can buy these pre-made designs and then market them, put them on your own Shopify store, or try to sell them through a Facebook campaign, et cetera. So uh, I guess some of the stuff's up off the shelf. Um, some of it is like uh, stuff where you're, um, you know, hiring a designer to do a design specifically for you. But here's some of their frequently asked questions. Uh, do I have the rights to use my own designs after purchase? So that's one of the most important thing. They say, yep, totes, you get the commercial rights to that design. So you are the ex exclusive owner to that design. It's my understanding that they're not, whatever design you buy, they're not gonna sell to somebody else. What actual files do I get? They're gonna give you uh, the design file in a PNG format. So I'm guessing that's ready to go on Amazon. They're gonna give you the actual source file and they're gonna give you, um, AI format. I, the last thing doesn't even make sense to me, but they're giving you all the files you need. Can I ask for revisions? Nope. Sorry. Uh, in order to keep our design process streamlined and maintain low rock bottom pricing, we can't go back and forth with revision requests. Um, I haven't gotten into like what a shirt costs and things like that. I guess they are offering two free shirts right off the bat. The other thing that turns me off a little bit is there is a membership fee. I get it. Um, you can't, until you pay the membership fee, you can't get in and see their designs. And they, they do have a good point. They says that that helps keep the copy camps out. So what could happen if they didn't charge that fee is somebody who wants to copy shirts just hops in here, copies all their shirts. And then when you or I go to buy a shirt, we're like, somebody's already got it listed because a copycat stole it. So, uh, and I also understand they are, you know, a lot of the guys on Fiverr aren't really the best designers. They're throwing up poor designs. They're just taking a Google image picture and throwing it up there. So you're not really getting stuff that you truly own the rights to. So if they're, at, you know, again, I don't even know yet how much the shirts are going to cost to get made. Um, but it does look like they're quality designs and, you know, some people want to go back and forth and do 20 root. Can you change this color? Can you move this? And, you know, I get, I get where they're coming from. To keep the prices low, they can't, they can't have all that. Uh, what file sizes do the files come in? We'll give you the actual source design files that you can alter the image uh, or canvas size of any design you purchase. And we'll give you a transparent background. So transparent background is what you need. 300 DPI fits like Teespring and uh, Redbubble and all those sites. So that works. Uh, and then here's about the monthly fee. Why is there a monthly fee? We charge a low monthly fee for a lot of reasons. The most important are to keep the copycats out. It weeds out the tire kickers and it allows us to continually add with new features and stuff. So um, 
Let's see, I'm ready to scale. What else are they looking at? Designs. Let's see if they'll see. So we until we sign up, we can't see their designs. I think they have a blog with some merch tips and things like that. If you're a designer, I'm not sure how this works, but I think if you're a designer, you can actually be a designer on this platform and sell designs because they have a post right here, $150 profit off one t-shirt. So he started low on his pricing and then slowly increased it. Same thing with Fiverr and a lot. As you build up the demand for your services, you can start charging more. Uh, let's see, customer order, need to be logged in. FAQ, um, let's see, Marketplace, Amazon Marketplace. I'm not really sure why they're linking. It's probably just an Amazon affiliate link there. Uh, but yeah, I did think it was kind of cool. They're featuring one of my uh, one of my videos there. I'm surprised these guys haven't reached out to me and see if uh, we want to partner up on a video or something. But, uh, you know, here's some stuff about Redbubble, Teespring, Etsy, et cetera. So like I said, I literally just learned about this site within the past five minutes or so. But, it, you know, for some of you guys who... Um, are just getting started on merch and maybe don't have a lot of experience finding sellers on Fiverr. Maybe you've never used Fiverr. Maybe you haven't hired freelancers before and you want something a little bit more streamlined. This could be a good option for you. Like I said, they don't list here, at least I'm not seeing how much the monthly service fee is and or how much the t-shirts cost. Uh, but according to Glenn on his uh, Merch Minds podcast, they are giving you two free shirts when you sign up right off the bat. So uh, I'm going to, in a second here, go uh, sign up and, and check it out. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video. But, uh, you know, a lot of times I learn about new tools and stuff. And if I don't get a video out to you guys right away, it never, ever winds up getting made. So I figured I would make a quick video, just kind of make you guys aware of this site. And uh, like I said, if, if you already have some design skills, this may or may not be for you. But like if you're a total noob, you don't have any experience hiring freelancers and you don't know anything about Photoshop or even how to make t-shirts and like Canva and stuff like that, this may be worthwhile to check out. If you do want to try to start mocking up your own shirts, I do have a couple videos about how to use Canva to mock up your shirts. Um, it used to be free. It is going to cost you $20 now if you want the uh, clear PNG files. Now you could make designs and then go over to Fiverr and hire somebody to do the clear background. But at that point, if you make four or more t-shirts a month, you might as well just sign up for the uh, the Canva professional service. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And uh, hopefully maybe this can make you guys a little bit of money.